It's week five of the DDPY Positively Unstoppable Challenge, and I am unstoppable. Welcome back to my channel, I am Unstoppable. I am Dr. Tom Wallen, and it's week five of the DDPY Positively Unstoppable Challenge. On today's episode, I wanna give you an update on my progress, and I also wanna to touch on a really important topic um, on why your scale might not be the best metric of measuring fat loss. So before we get started, make sure to leave a comment in the comment box below so that we can connect, and I'd like to hear a little bit more about your progress and your idea on the best ways to monitor fat loss. So I'm very happy and proud to report that week five has been another stunning success. Uh, importantly, from a mental side, I've been able to stifle almost all of my negative thoughts and turning them into positive, so um, that's been a great plus. Also, my workouts in the gym have never been better. We're still doing four days a week of hypertrophy-based strength training, and at the end of every workout, we've been adding a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of metabolic work in order to increase some more calories. So as this process you know, continues to go on, we're really focusing on the amount of muscle mass that I have now we want to maintain, and we want to continue to chip away at body fat. And I've been doing a great job with that through the workouts, and I have not cheated once on the diet. Everything has been perfectly on place. Uh, starting next week, we're going to do a little bit of a cut. We're going to reduce a small amount of calories, somewhere around the range of, of 20 grams of fat per day, or maybe actually 30 grams of fat per day, which is going to be somewhere around 270 extra calories, just so that we can continue to fuel the fire to continue to keep on losing this body fat. Now, the one thing I wanted to review today was I had my last in-body body scan taken and interesting results. So if you were to look, and I'm gonna post them up here in the corner and I wanna make sure I get this right. So if you were to look at the results themselves, it would show that over the last four or five weeks that um, since the last time I had the scan, it shows a body scale loss of only 2.2 pounds. So for a lot of people that are working hard and dieting very, very meticulously, that wouldn't seem to be a win, but the details of this test is really, really what should be important. So what we did notice is that there was an increase in 2.5 pounds of lean body mass. There was an increase in 1.8 pounds of skeletal muscle mass. We also saw a decrease in 4.6 pounds of body fat mass. And I actually decreased my percent body fat percentage from... Um, from 19.0% to 17.1%. So that lets us show that everything is working in the direction that we're working so hard for. So we're working out really, really difficultly in the gym. We're maintaining a caloric uh, deficit every single day for that specific reason, is to decrease our body fat and slightly increase our muscle mass. So this week has been a tremendous success. Now that alludes to the main topic of this video is that your scale may be a liar. Your scale is not the best metric of telling you how much body fat you're losing on any fitness program. And I have many reasons to back that up and I'm going to just talk to you just shortly. I've been seeing on Facebook almost daily the frustration of many people in this contest and many people just in general life that seem to be working out every single day. They say they're on a diet. You, you never really know what people are eating and if they're following and tracking their calories. But if they are, there are still people that are maintaining what they feel is a caloric deficit and they're not losing weight on a weekly basis. And for a lot of people, that can be disheartening. That can stop their progress immediately. So what I wanna to talk to you guys about is that your scale is the worst metric. It is a metric, one single metric of letting you know if you're losing weight or gaining weight, but it's not really telling you if you're losing fat or if you're just maintaining uh, water weight or if you're actually gaining muscle. So I'm gonna give an example I have to weigh myself every single day, and over the course of seven days, and I weigh myself at the same time every day, um, I take an average of those weights, and then for the week, I average that, and that's my average weight loss or gain for the week. And I do that because my body fluctuates tremendously. So let's say a, an example, um, today is a Thursday, and today is my leg day. So I'll be going in the gym today and doing a very, very heavy leg workout. I'm going to be burning a ton of calories. I'm going to maintain my same diet, but tomorrow morning I may wake up two, three, maybe four pounds heavier than I was this morning. And why is that? Did I gain three or four pounds of body fat in a day? And no, that's nonsensical. It can't happen. 
Did I gain three or four pounds of muscle mass in a day? And again, that's nonsensical, that can't happen. What that is, is that's a result of inflammation. So I work my heart, my body very, very difficultly in the gym, and my body is retaining water. And that happens after any strenuous activity, it also happens based on diet. If I were to eat a heavy carbohydrate meal before I went to bed and drink a lot of water, if you look at the word carbohydrate, it holds water, it holds water in your body. It actually shuttles water into your muscle mass. So don't be too caught up on your scale. And I'm gonna uh, present to you a couple of things that we should be doing on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, which are other measurements which are much more important than just your scale. So let's talk about some ways that we can monitor our body composition while on a fitness program that may be a little more better than using our scale. So some of these tools are very intricate and expensive. Some of these are very, very simplistic and maybe not as accurate, but all of these are valuable. These are all tools. We can use all of them and we'll go over the pros and cons of each one. So they say that the gold standard of body fat testing is underwater body displacement, where they're actually disperse a bunch of water by lowering you into a, a bit of water and it displaces water and they can use measurements to see how much body fat, how much skeletal muscle mass you have on your body. That is the gold standard, but uh, it's very expensive to do. It's very, very rare. You'd have to find a lot of times if you live near a university, uh, they'll have those, or if you live near a, a professional training facility, they may have those, but it's expensive, it's, it's hard to use, you have to go through all the math, you have to have a professional to do that, but if you have opportunity to do so, it's a very accurate way to see how much body fat you're carrying on your body. <clears throat> now, there's another uh, trend which is going around which is called DEXA scan, and DEXA scan is basically like an MRI type machine, and what that does is it does a full scan of your body, and using that technology, which is very similar to MRI, it's able to um, accurately determine exactly how much muscle mass, how much skeletal bone is on your body, and it subtracts that, and it can tell you how much body fat you have in your body. Again, this is very expensive. I do have one in my area, and I saw that it was at $80 per scan. Um, it can be very accurate, but again, you need a full professional team to do that. It's a very expensive machine. The cost of doing that testing, if you were to do that, every few weeks can add up. Now, there's other ways of doing body fat testing at home. One is a biomechanical impedance, and you've probably seen these around. I picked this up on Craigslist, actually, from someone locally. What this does is when you hold the device, uh, what happens is it sends an electric current all the way through your body from one hand to the other, and with the amount of resistance that it meets does a small calculation of how much body fat you're carrying at the time. Now the problem with this machine is it's very, very, very inaccurate. So you can do this test one time and get a reading which you might be happy with and you can drink three glasses of water and you can run that test again and it'll be completely different. So it does rely upon very, very consistent conditions and most people wouldn't be doing that. The other thing you can do at home and also professionals can do this is these are body fat calipers. Uh, what this is is a skin fold test. You take a little pinch of your skin at different parts of your body and you can uh, run a, a mathematical equation and through that equation it can calculate the amount of body fat that you're carrying at the time. So pros of this, this is very inexpensive. I picked this up on Amazon for uh, I think between eight and ten dollars. Um, it gives you all the instructions how to do it at home but the problem is it's it's a little bit hard to use if you're not used to how much you have to pinch of the skin and and how to do that, uh, it can be a little inaccurate. People that are professionals at doing this, you can rely on them to do it, and they'll do this, you know, a very, very consistent job. One of the other problems is there's certain parts of your body and some people that where you'll maintain a lot of body fat, and some areas where you pinch and there's very, very minimal body fat. So you have to do multiple parts of the body. Uh, some people even do an 11 point skin fold test, uh, as opposed to somewhere if you just did your stomach or your chest, or if you just did your, your tricep, you know, depending on where you hold your body fat, that could be slightly inaccurate. But um, that's another tool to do it. Last one we're gonna talk about, and this is the easiest. Here we go, just a, just a way to measure our body measurements. So this is what I like to use is uh, the Myo Tape. And I again, picked this up on Amazon. The reason I like this is that you can use just one hand. So you can, um, oh, you can just snap this into place and you can use one hand and you can measure your entire body very, very easily. And you can just use the trends throughout the course of the week. Are you, 
you know, getting larger or smaller. And a very, very large indication of are you losing body fat is, is your stomach measurement. So if you're losing inches on your, your waistline, that is probably a very good indication that you're losing body fat. And if you're gaining inches there, you could be retaining a little extra water or you could be gaining body fat. But those are the tools that we can use. And I want to give you some advice on which one to use and how to use them.